Yo, what's up, Ozzy? I hope you've all been well. I know it's been a couple of days since I've uploaded a new video. I recently had lightning hit really close to my house and it messed with the wires around the house. So I've just been getting everything fixed. But other than that, everything is good now. So what I have for you guys today are the best free plugins for Photoshop that all designers should have. So without further ado, the first plugin we have is Comic Kit. So most of these plugins we found on Adobe Exchange. And if you have your Creative Cloud connect to your Adobe software, and once you add the extensions or plugins, it should automatically be added to your account and your Photoshop. So it's really easy to set up. So once you're in your Photoshop to find almost all these, they're under window extensions. So that is where all these will be found. And for the ones that aren't, I will show you how to access them. All right. So for the first plugin comic kit, I use this plugin all the time whenever I make my anime headers. So after installing, you want to go ahead and go back to your Photoshop and make a new layer. Go to edit fill make sure your contents is on pattern and then you want to make sure your script is on go ahead and check box that and then put it on screen pattern ex and go ahead and hit ok so once you do that you'll get this window pop-up showing you these halftone effects you can mess with your pattern scale the size that you want the pattern to be your patterns per inch the rotation which way you want the pattern to be Go ahead and put that on that one so you can see it a little better. And then you can also go ahead and play with other patterns. This is one of my favorite things to mess around with as I use this all the time in projects, especially when it comes to adding texture to the 2D designs that I do. You could also go to advanced and go to pattern and you can go ahead and change how the patterns look, do squares, mess around with those. But for now, I'm gonna leave it on circle and put it on normal and then once you basically have a pattern to your liking you want to go ahead and hit ok and you have your half tones all right guys so for the next plugin i'm pretty sure you've seen before if you've been looking up plugins the plugin's called real time long shadow and it does basically exactly as it says it has this preview window and you can basically rotate to see which angle you want your shadow to be so i'm gonna go ahead and angle it right here change the link to 500 whatever link you want your shadow to be then you can change your steps the density to blur and if you have it on off like 16 bit off it will give you like a janky shadow but if you ever want to do like a realistic blur and you have 16 bit on you'd want to go to your image mode and make sure your bit channel is on 16 and then you go ahead and turn that on your noise, if you want noise, lower your opacity, your blend mode, whatever you want it to be. And then once you have your shadow to your liking, you want to go ahead and hit cast shadow. And it's going to go ahead and work the effect on this side of the screen. And then once you're done, you'll end up with this nice clean shadow under your text. And I'm sure you guys can incorporate this into your design depending on what type of design you're making. And yeah, that's real time long shadow. And for the next plugin, we have interactive blender panel. And I mainly use this one to blend text into like landscapes and you can get some pretty cool effects with it. So what you're going to do is go ahead and make a text or the way you want it on your image. And then you just go ahead and hit blend midtones. And what you want to do is go ahead and play around with your luminosity, whatever looks nice to you. Yeah that there and you, you can get some pretty cool effects with it which you can also do is go ahead and use a your gradient maps and you can blend in some gradients with your wallpapers as well so you can go ahead and get, make a gradient map hit blend midtones and you can make some pretty cool effects with that as well And as you can see, it blended in your gradient map with all your midtones. And yeah, you can pretty much get some pretty cool effects with this plugin. As you can see here, I kind of like how I did the reds here in the highlights. Um, I'm sure y'all can figure out something you can use it with. And for the next plugin we have, which is also one of my favorites, we have FX box. And what this plugin does is it basically puts all the preset effects that other people have made into one program and they have a bunch of 
effects you can choose from some are paid for but they have a couple of freebies that are really good and i'm going to basically show you how to install it real quick so what you want to do is go ahead and go to download download it and once your download is done you want to go back to your photoshop go to file script then browse and you're going to go ahead and go to the folder that you got from the zip file put installation click this and then hit load and then once you do that it's basically going to tell you to restart your photoshop and now that you have your photoshop restarted what you want to do is go to window extensions then fx box and after that it should be right here now what you're going to do to get your effects now is you want to go back to your go back to the website go to freebies and you're going to want to click on one of them whatever one you want hit download and you're basically just going to go back to photoshop hit the plus sign and you're going to go back to where you downloaded the file and once you do that you're going to basically do the same thing click on the installation file and you're basically just going to add it so once y'all get all the effects that y'all want installed this plugin can have some really cool effects guys and i'm gonna go ahead and show you what some of them do right here so i'm gonna go ahead and use this one so for this one it basically is just gonna make your image sharper so i'm gonna go ahead and leave it on one and as you can see it already looks really good and it makes a huge difference so you have that one or you can go back here and use oil paint and what you're gonna do is go ahead and just hit paint now Go ahead and let the plugin do what it's got to do so as you can see it's too strong so what you want to do is go ahead and just lower that a bit maybe about right there and maybe y'all can change it to linear light or see whichever one looks good maybe hard light and as y'all can see it makes it look like an oil painting there's also another effect that i really like on here and it's called pixel to vector so what this one does is if you go ahead and just get your shape real quick, you can just copy and paste that. Go ahead and just convert it to a vector shape. And what that does is it basically makes it into a shape and you can just do whatever you want with it with no quality loss. Cause it's pretty much a shape now. And yeah, guys, that's FX box. I hope you guys like it. And so on to the next plugin, we have Icon 8. So this plugin is free and you can either get it directly onto your Windows desktop or you can get it for Creative Cloud and link it to your Photoshop. But for me, for some reason, it isn't working for my Photoshop. So I just ended up getting it for the Windows desktop. So what this plugin does, is it basically gives you free icons. And if you download it directly to your Photoshop, it'll be in your extensions right here. So for me, I'm gonna end up having it in my windows. So I'm gonna go right here, look up Instagram. They have a lot of really nice icons that you can choose from. And it's really helpful to have a lot of different icons instead of having the same old boring icons all the time. So this program just really comes in handy if you need some icons for your designs. So yeah, if y'all end up using this program and y'all end up liking it, I believe it's just $13 for a one-time purchase and you'll get all these icons completely high res and in SVG format and PDF format. And yeah, the link will be in the description for this program if you guys want it. And on to the next plugin. And for the final plugin, we have Powtoons or Potoons. I'm not exactly sure how to say it. This is a plugin I've never used before, but I figured it'll be something that you guys will end up enjoying using. So what it does is it basically takes your artboards or whatever layers you have in your Photoshop and it basically creates them into a video. So yeah, I've never used this program before, but I'm sure you guys can look up some tutorials on how to use it. It seems like it's a really useful plugin and yeah, it's completely for free in the link in the description if you guys want it. Just thought I'd throw it in there because it seems like something that people really enjoy using. With that being said, thank you guys so much for watching. That's all the plugins that I have for you guys. If you guys enjoyed the video and you would like to see another one, please comment down below. And also make sure you guys subscribe and like the video. 
And as always, be sure to join my Discord. The link will be in the description below. One thing I would like to tell you guys before letting y'all go is I am working on something and I'll be letting y'all know about it here soon. And yeah, once again, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys next video.